Welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new and if you're new I would love it if you would stick around and subscribe and with that being said in today's video I am going to be doing a haul of all the books that I've gotten recently and so in this haul we'll have some gifts and my January book of the month books because I got a few and what I got from the book outlet boxing day sale so yeah let's get into it i'm excited so first i have my christmas gifts i only have three on this list because i got a lot of like other stuff for christmas one of the things being this wonderful ring light i'm using right now but anyways the first book i got for christmas is a little bit of a chunker well it's not even like well it's just heavy so that book is harry potter in the goblet of fire by jk Rolling or Rowling, I'm not sure. <laughs> and this is the illustrated edition and oh wow, I just opened it up. But um, yeah, that's amazing. So I got this book for Christmas. It was like the one that I was most excited about. And yeah, I flipped through the whole thing on Christmas morning while we were all opening presents. And yeah, I'm super excited that I got this. The next book that I got for Christmas is Keeper of the Lost Cities Legacy, which is the Barnes & Noble Exclusive Edition, and it's a signed copy, which um, I think my parents were like on a trip or something, and or my dad maybe, and they were at a bookstore, and my dad saw this and he, he remembered that I loved this series, so he wanted to get it for me, and I just thought that was like super thoughtful of him. And one of my friends asked me what I wanted her to get me for Christmas and I actually requested the seventh book in this series, which I forgot what it's called, but I have literally all the other ones right here. And then the eighth one, which is just came out this past fall. And so I only need that one left, but we haven't seen each other since actually that time, which was probably mid-December. So, so yeah, I don't actually have it to hold up here yet. And next my parents actually got me a couple of books for getting all A's in my first semester of grad school which was super nice of them. And the first one of these books is Blood Air by Emilie Wenzhou, which I'm not sure if that's how you say that name but yeah. Uh, and the I was actually in Kroger with my dad and my brother and I saw these two books that and I was just like I want these books and so my dad bought them and yeah so I really I'm not even sure what most of these are about because I haven't read them but I really like the cover of this one because it looks like cold and dark. The other book that I got that day was Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi which I read in, I read the first one of these last, no, not last year, 2018. And this came out at the end of the end of the year in 2019. So yeah, I hadn't got it yet. So I'm excited to have the sequel. I'm not quite sure when I'm gonna get to it, but I'm still excited about it. And like, this cover is so pretty. Like, that's just amazing. So next I have my book of the month books which I have four with one YA and then three adult. So the one YA one that I have is Woven in Moonlight by Isabel Ibanez and this one is it's actually in my most anticipated releases of 2020 so if you want to see my other anticipated releases you should go watch that video and I will put it in the cards somewhere. But yeah, this has like Bolivian folklore or something in it, so that was really exciting to me. And also this cover is just beautiful, like so pretty. Like I just love pretty covers. Next up, um, I have Recursion by Blake Crouch. And I have no idea what this book is about, but I read Dark Matter by Blake Crouch in 2019, I think. It's going to be on my best books of 2019 video, which I still need to film 
I keep putting it off because I'm just like I could only I read 140 books so I had such a hard time narrowing it down and I'm just, I still have like 25 that I want to talk about so I'm just like really overwhelmed because it's like a lot of books but yeah um I love Dark Matter so much so I was just like okay I'll just get that the this one too so the next book I have is The Sundown Motel by Simone St. James and this is like a mystery thriller with like part of it taking place in 1982 and part of it taking place in 2017 and like the main character's aunt actually disappeared from this motel I think maybe in the past timeline and so now she's trying to figure out what happened to her so yeah it sounded really creepy to me and um yeah so I wanted to get this one and the last book of the month book that I have for this haul is Things in Jars by Jess Kidd, which this book just sounded amazing. Also love the cover of this one because it's all blue and flowers. This book is like, from what I could tell, it's like a Victorian era fantasy mystery. And also there's like mermaids or something because like, look at this. It's a mermaid. And um, I think I mentioned this in a previous video, but like, mermaids and like water related things really get me <laughs> interested in books so yeah I knew I had to get this one too <laughs> and so now we have my book outlet portion which is going to be the longest portion of this video because I have quite a few so the first one is the Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Like the release of this was really talked about, I think probably in January of 2018, I wanna say. And I just haven't ever read it. And so they had the paperback on Book Outlet and I was just like, you know what, it's time because for some reason I entered the giveaway for the sequel on Goodreads. I don't know why since I haven't read this one. I think maybe it was like three in the morning or something, but I won that giveaway so now I have the first and the second book so I can read them back to back if I want to. Next up I have Book of a Thousand Days by Shannon Hale and I have her whole other series Goose Girl which is on the back here. I have this like all four of these books which it's kind of hard to see but yeah and this one sounded interesting too. I feel like I keep looking funny whatever. The next book that I have is Small Spaces by Katherine Arden, and she's actually the author of The Bear and the Nightingale, which I literally just put two and two together saying her name out loud. So, you know what? Better late than never, right? <laughs> so this one, I think it's like a middle grade mystery type book. Yeah, so the main character, Ollie, finds a woman throwing like a book in the water and so or she's threatening to and then she wants she doesn't want that to happen so she steals the book look at the little scarecrow which there's a glare but look at the little scarecrow it looks really cute and also creepy so if I get the Halloween feel early in the year like sometimes you know like you're just in the mood for like Halloween but it's like April <laughs> maybe that'll happen or maybe I'll save it for Halloween we'll see what happens the next book that I have is The Night Olivia Fell by Christina McDonald this one like I saw it on a Goodreads giveaway and I didn't win that one so when I saw it on Book Outlet I was just like you know what I'm still actually really interested in this the main character's teenage daughter fell off a bridge and she's brain dead but she's also pregnant so the police are like calling the calling her falling like an accident but the main character doesn't believe that it's an accident i'm really curious to see if i like this there's like i feel like there's probably a 50 50 chance but it was also like three dollars so the next two books that i have kind of go together so they are The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare and The Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare. And I have all of her like, oh, you can't see them, but they're, they're these books right here. Yeah, those are all the Cassandra Clare books. But I don't have any of her short story collections and I've been like having these in my Amazon cart for 
ages and then they had the hard covers on book outlet for like a few dollars and I was just like okay yeah that's it's time so I finally have these two I'm really excited I may um, try to read like one story a week or, or like a month or something I don't know um, because I don't really like to sit down and just read short story collections straight through because that like the switching between the stories kind of like I don't like but like if I'm reading just one story and like putting it aside then I like it better so yeah that's probably what I will do for these two so the next book that I have is Grey Sister by Mark Lawrence which I got the first book in this trilogy Red Sister from Book Outlet like last year so now I need to read this series I've heard it be compared to like Nevernight before and I love that series so Oh, I should probably not be reading that because it's a sequel. So yeah, I just, I think I'll like this series. So I might as well get the hardcovers of them when they were like really cheap. And since it was during a sale, like they were extra cheap. The next book, th <laughs> oh. uh, Autumn wants to be in the video. And now that I have this light, I don't have the table thing that I used to sit my old janky tripod on. So she's just like stressed because she can't block the camera anymore but anyways the next book that i have is arch enemies by marissa meyer which i don't even have renegades yet but it's another one that i was just like i feel like i'm really gonna like this series and it's like a really cheap hardcover in really good condition so i was just like you know what i need to get that one so if anybody has renegades and doesn't want any more <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, so I still need to get Renegades. Next up, this is going to be really, really glary. But this is the last book that I have in this haul. And it is Obsidio. Okay, that's better. It is a, a Obsidio by J. Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. And I'm trying not to get the light in there because it's shiny. And... Yeah, so Obsidio is a sci-fi type book. Well, Illuminae is. All I really know is like it's a space sci-fi and there's this like corporation and like a plague or something and the two main characters just broke up and they have to help each other or something. So now I have Illuminae and Obsidio, but I still don't have Gemini yet, so Maybe once I start reading Illuminate, I can order Gemina or something. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe it'll show up on Book Outlet because, uh, or Thrift Books or something because I got Illuminate from Thrift Books and I got Obsidio from Book Outlet. So, <laughs> so, who knows, kitty? Now she's on the kitchen table, like, really confused. <laughs> Anyways, that's all that I have for this haul. Let me know which book you think I should prioritize. If you've read any of these books, let me know what you thought about them. Or if you're planning on reading any of these books too. So that way, maybe we could talk about them if we both read them in a timely fashion. <laughs> that was like a dig at myself, not at any of you. <laughs> so yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. And I hope to see you soon in my next video. Bye!